Okay, quick buyer tip. You're making an offer on a house and part of your offer is the earnest money deposit. Don't lose sight of the importance of that earnest money deposit in your offer. Yesterday, I wrote an offer for a buyer and they wanted to put in their offer a 1% earnest money deposit on a very big price. And I said, you know, it's really not a great negotiating tactic. Don't think it's gonna be good for you. There are multiple offers, there's competition. But they did it anyway. And guess what the listing agent said? She said, Marjorie, what's with this low earnest money deposit? This is a no starter. I mean, we can't even look at your offer. So I got together with the buyer, we changed it. We made it big, we made it fat. Our offer was great, except for the earnest money deposit. When we changed it, guess what happened? We were in the running and not only were we in the running, we got the house. So don't lose sight of the importance of your earnest money deposit when you make an offer. You can't figure it out. You don't know how to write a good offer. You don't have an agent that can help you. Give me a call. Marjorie Dick Stewart, 240-731-8079. My message today is make sure if you're going to write a good offer, have a good earnest money deposit. See you next week, Tuesday at 2 for Real Estate Today Live. And don't forget to tell your friends.